Today uh, we have the privilege of witnessing Vanessa Kim's baptism. Uh, we're real excited about that. Um, if you are new to Cornerstone, uh, we practice believer's baptism here. And uh, we believe that when you come into faith, placing your faith in Jesus Christ, it is appropriate for you to then declare that faith by going through water baptism. And uh, water baptism is very symbolic of all that Jesus has done for us. So when the person goes into the baptismal waters and goes under the water go, and comes up out of the water, they are making a declaration. Their old life is gone. The new life has come. They are identifying with Jesus's death, burial, and resurrection as they go under the waters. They are coming into a new family of faith. When you become a Christian, you are brought into a family of faith called the body of Christ. There is a washing that is also portrayed in this baptism, that the waters cleanse us, so to speak, from sin. It symbolizes what Jesus has done for us in his blood cleansing us from sin. So water baptism is very symbolic and very important in our walk with the Lord. And so Vanessa is going to uh, be baptized. I'm going to go ahead and invite Vanessa to come on up and Art and um, her father-in-law, John. And um, is Sue going to come up as well? She's welcome to stand if she'd like. But everybody, come on up and um, just join us. And um, Art, are you reading the testimony today? All right, that's great. Hello, everyone. This is Vanessa, my father, uh, John, and my mother, uh, Sue. Uh, it's a privilege to be speaking in front of all of you today. Um, some of you may know me uh, better as uh, uh, Lisa's brother or uh, <laughs> Samson's uh, brother or uh, brother-in-law um, or uncle to Marissa, Felicity, and uh, Elias. So you can also call me Uncle Art and uh, Anissa, Auntie Vanessa. Okay, so this is Vanessa's uh, testimonial. Hi, some of you might uh, know me, but most of you may not. My name is Vanessa Kim, and I am fairly new to Cornerstone. After praying for a home church, God has brought us to root ourselves at Cornerstone. I'm very excited and thankful that I can stand in front of you to share this important moment in my life. Growing, growing up, I had a very interesting experience with religion. It was a bit confusing to say the least. I had a devout Catholic paternal grandmother and a devout Buddhist maternal grandmother. On top of the confusion, my agnostic parents left me to seek out where I stood on my own. At around age four, and after numerous visits to Catholic church services and Buddhist temples, I asked my father what religion I belonged to. My father's response was, choosing your own religion should be your own advice, but remember, for everything else, mommy and daddy will choose for you. <laughs> His re response didn't help and made things more confusing. Uh, confusing. Luckily, I had a neighbor who had an interest in me and took me under her wings. She brought me to her church so that I could experience Sunday school with other kids. For some reason, I felt comforted, not because of the friends I was making nor the fun activities I got to participate in. It just felt comfortable and right. We eventually moved away from my neighbor, but I kept going to church on my own. I accepted Christ as my savior during middle school at summer youth camp, but my relationship with Christ wasn't strong. Looking back, I only sought his help when I needed him without obeying or trusting him completely. I knew deep inside that I was taking God for granted. I strayed away from him in high school and college, which made me feel incomplete and lost. My relationship began to change last year. After going through numerous fertility treatments, we found out that I was pregnant on Good Friday. Arthur and I were so excited. However, six weeks later, the doctor could not find the heartbeat during our first visit. We were told that we had a miscarriage and they were not sure of the reason. The devastation was unbearable. We were lucky to have caring family and friends who gave us their love and support, but I still felt this crushing pain inside every waking moment. I started out by listing all the things I could have done wrong to have caused a miscarriage. During that time, I realized how far I was from God. Feeling embarrassed and guilty towards God, I started to pray. At first, I was telling God what had happened and how sad I was. I felt better, but not complete. One day I was praying again. I'm not sure where it came from, but I started to let God know 
that I would follow his will no matter the outcome. If being a parent was not what he planned for me, I would trust and follow him. And the first time in my life, I had submitted to God completely. At that moment, I felt at ease. It was truly amazing. I had never felt that way before. We decided to take some time off from fertility treatment, but two months after having the miscarriage, God gave us his blessing to have a baby. As you can see, I am now seven and a half months pregnant. We're so grateful. There have been ups and downs during this pregnancy, but relying on God has made everything awesome. I thank God every day for his blood, his mercy, and his loving kindness. I'm looking forward to seeing what he has in store for me. With my commitment to Christ today, I would like to live my life worthy of him. Amen. Vanessa has asked uh, her father-in-law, John, to pray for her now. So uh, would you join us in prayer as John leads us in prayer? Let us pray. Lord, we want to give you glory through this ceremony. Holy Spirit, take charge of this ceremony and empower the Pastor Joe, who is leading it. Today, we baptize your beloved daughter, baptize Vanessa with your spirit as well as with water. May her nature die with Jesus and be born again with Jesus. Thank you for your marvelous love. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So we um, practice believer's baptism uh, here. This is the closest we get to infant baptism. <laughs> okay, you could turn this around. Yeah. All right. Vanessa, this is great, isn't it? It's water warm? Yeah, it's warm. All right, good. <laughs> Vanessa. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God? I do. By faith, have you trusted in him and his sacrificial death as payment for your sins? I have. And will you yield to the Holy Spirit and allow him to lead your life in accordance with God's word? I will. Upon your confession of faith, I baptize you today in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You go ahead and have a seat. Put your hands up. This. Okay. Praise offering to the Lord. Celebrate him. Let's all rise, everybody. Hey, everybody. All right. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done today, for what we have witnessed. It is an awesome opportunity to be reminded about how good you are and how in you the old is gone, the new has come. We are a new creation for those of us who are alive in Christ. Let's go ahead and worship and celebrate him. Hey!
glorious way.